What's up, everybody? It's Red Hunter. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. And the update 4.10.1 has been released. This is the update that caused the extra long maintenance that people were panicking about. I did a video on that earlier today. Um, and I got a ton of support and positive feedback. And I thank each and every one of you for that. Um, please continue to, to, to provide positive feedback and for me. So anyway, moving on. Um, here are the updates of the details, 4.10.1. Uh, you're going to need to update your game via the, uh, the Google Play Store or the, uh, app, the iTunes Store. And then you're going to need to download, I think it was 425 megabytes worth of data. Uh, I strongly suggest you do both of those on a wireless connection. Uh, depending on your hotspots, if you do it, it could be or cellular data. It could consume quite a lot of data. Um, so we have the optimized process of uh, unlocking uh, hidden potential routes. When unlocking a hidden a character's hidden potential on the hidden potential page, you can reverse the character and unlock it the route at the same time. This uh, saves us multiple steps. So I'm really happy about this, but this is not the one I'm most happy about. Optimize the page's training and awakening. Now when you have the growth uh, menu, it'll automatically select your medals for Z Awakenings, Dokken Awakenings, or Stream Z Awakenings. And then you can proceed as usual. So now you don't have to go click, 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 click. Um, and you can remove support. This is the one I'm most happy about. You can, uh, you can remove the pros, the, uh, you can help with support items now by just clicking on them, removes them. So just like characters, it works exactly. The, I'm so sorry. I'm a little excited by this. Uh, just like characters, you could just remove items just by clicking on them. And this is such a good change because it'll make one of the most annoying things to me and time consuming things was going through the list, finding the items, especially for things like infinite Dragon Ball history where you can only have two items selected. And you had to go through and manually remove two items instead of just clicking on them to remove them. And now now you can just click on them to remove them, which makes me like really happy. Um, and again, training locations, Training locations will now stay selected as long as you have them, of course, from the previous ones. So you won't, we won't have to scroll through the list because there's a lot of them, of the training locations. They'll just stay selected. Um, information buttons for announcements. Uh, an info, a, a button for accessing the corresponding announcement has been acted to the select team page, which is shown before you engage in the event. That's pretty helpful. Um, because you can look at, you can make your team and then you can look at the event and now you don't have to go like back and you don't have to like exit out of the team page and then, uh, go back to the event, look at the items, make, uh, uh, look at the information, make sure you have the selected stuff, go and then, uh, go back in. Now you can just do it all at once, close it, take a quick look. Okay. I have a good team. Boom. Close that page. Proceed with the event. It's, it's these are just quality of life things that I'm, I'm really happy about. And then this. The skill orb. Added the new item skill orb. Skill orbs can be equipped to UR or higher characters. You can increase a uh, character's potential skill level or stats by equipping a skill orb to a character. I am going to do a separate video on this. Um, I talked about it when it came out to Japan to, to uh, for the Japanese anniversary. If we have this already, we are early. Like early, early, early. We are several weeks early. Um, added the special sticker. Same thing. Um, you can apply exclusive visual effects to certain characters by using the vi uh, special sticker. And some of them look incredible. Some of them, eh. Please note, this is important. Please note that the visual effect cannot be removed once it is applied. So that's important. If you don't, you might want to uh, spend some time on the internet looking to see what they look like before you do the uh, visual effects. And then they fix some bugs. Okay. So I am going to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover the other stuff. And the news and the uh and another video but before we go out what i want to look at is yeah 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 um we'll, we'll we'll cover that in a minute what i want to see is how many stones they gave us okay so they gave us seven stones i said 10 in my other video i said 10 max uh seven is more than i expected so i'm uh i'm happy about that and uh i'm, I'm like i'm not gonna complain all right so let's go ahead and accept everything and um, you see I've got 13 stones just so because of the daily capsule. I didn't miss my daily capsule. They, they extended it. Again, the weekend summon tickets, they extended them.
they knew that people could miss their logons and they uh they accommodated that so not to worry as i said they would they're not gonna they're gonna make sure nobody misses their logons nobody loses their streaks nobody loses anything like that anyway uh thanks for watching uh i'll see you guys in the next video uh of dragon ball z don't come battle remember to like comment subscribe uh thank you to the people that subscribe today i really appreciate that and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon you're gonna see a bunch of them pretty quickly uh today and probably tomorrow some uh but until then red hunter out